Thinking of adopting a kitten? Millions do. Some are drawn to their antics. They just do the silliest things and they will make you smile. Some are drawn to their independence. It's a lot less responsibility as far as having to take them out to walk them than it would be with a dog. But there's plenty to think about before you even consider making a fun-loving furball a family member. You really want to think about what your own lifestyle is like and what you're looking for in that cat. Do you really want this animal? Is it going to integrate with your family? Most times the answer is yes, but you just have to think it through. Will you give them the food? The Sweet family, Jay, Margaret, Hugo, and Graham, have been considering adding a kitten to their active family for the past few months. Chicken, it's food! They're hoping kitten brothers-to-be, Hugo and Graham, will gain more than a playmate. We obviously want to teach the boys about responsibility and just having another member of the family to care for. Now they're counting the days until they pick out their new kitten. The kids are very, very psyched. Kitten. Kittens. I want a tolerant kitten since the boys are six and three. I would like a kitten to jump high. I want a mouser. I want a hunter. I want a brown kitten. The one thing the whole family agrees on is that they'll adopt their kitten from a local shelter, saving the life of one of the millions who need homes. The Cape Ann Animal Aid Shelter is nearby. The work that we do here at the shelter is really, really important. There are so many unwanted animals out there that need homes, so we didn't even think twice. Adopting through a shelter usually involves filling out an application, followed by a reference check, proof of home ownership or landlord permission, and any vet paperwork for animals already in the home. When people come in, we like to ask them a little bit about their lifestyle, see what kind of animal that they're looking for. The Sweet family is a great family. We're just very excited. Some cats can live for 20 years, making adopting a kitten a serious commitment. The sweets are about to find out just what they're getting into. From the moment you bring your kitten home, providing environmental and behavioral enrichment is really important. So the whole laundry list of things that you will need. Lucky for the sweet family, Cats 101 expert, veterinary behaviorist, Dr. Nicholas Dodman is here to help. Hello, good morning. First on the agenda, shopping for the essentials they'll need to prepare for their kitten's homecoming. Wow, look at this. So you're very excited, I guess. We're hoping you could tell us exactly what we need for this little kitten. First stop, litter boxes. And Dr. Dodman has a recommendation for litter box success. The formula for litter box success is your cats plus one. So if you had two cats, three boxes, one cat, two boxes. And I know people can manage with one, but it's not ideal for the cat. With so many choices, Dr. Dodman recommends trying two types. Margaret wants a covered box to control odor, and they'll also try an open one. If you find the hooded one is favored, then you could put a hood on the next one. Choosing litter can be just as confusing. I just don't know where to begin. Odor control or clumping mm. or organic. First thing you need is scoopable, stuff that has the texture of sand. And no, they don't like odor control. So what you want is unscented, scoopable, final course texture litter in the box to a depth of about this much. That applies for kittens and grown cats. Next is double stick tape, which makes surfaces unappealing for kitty scratching. Kittens will avoid scratching wherever you put it. Dr. Dobman also recommends scratching posts to encourage scratching in the right spots. They have to be sturdy, which this is, they have to be tall enough for the cat to jump up full length and stretch. So the formula for scratching posts is the same as with litter boxes. One more than you have cats. You will need two. So your cat needs things to do. Topping the list, toys. Dr. Dodman recommends lots of them. And here to help, a real cat. They get sick of the same toys, so you, you need enough that you can put them away and bring out new ones. Yeah, you want one for you? Last on the list, time for a cat nap. This is a nice one for a, a small to middle-sized cat because they can curl up in a complete circle. And don't forget chow time. The first few days start out with a balanced kitten food. Consult your vet for a recommendation. Thank you. Can you carry this? 
sea. One of the benefits of adopting from a shelter in a lot of cases is that everything's all inclusive. The animals are usually uh, spayed and neutered in our facility. They've been vaccinated for their age. They're sent home already microchipped and ready to be found if they were to ever get lost. Sometimes there is an adoption fee, but it goes to cover those things. But whether you choose a shelter or a reputable breeder, there are things to consider in picking the perfect kitten for your family. Okay, guys, let's go. On hand for the big moment is CATS 101 expert, veterinary behaviorist, Dr. Nicholas Dodman. Thank you. He'll help the sweets find the perfect match. Oh, this one Ooh, here. Yeah. Now you want to put your hand right down there. One down there. Good job. All right, can you feel him purring? Maybe we should meet Skier, too. Skier is his brother. That one, that's Jessica. Once they've narrowed it down to three kittens, Dr. Dodman helps the sweets make a choice in a separate room where they will observe kitty temperament. He doesn't seem to be so interested in people. Sociability is one thing Dr. Dodman watches for in his assessment. He's also on the lookout for alertness and interaction. He'd be a great cat for some people, but I think with your family, and I'm sure the kids are gonna to wanna to do a lot of petting and holding. Oh, he's gone again. The kids are most excited to meet two domestic short hairs. Brothers Grover and Skier were brought to the shelter by their owners who could not keep them. You know, the other thing is they've all got these extra claws, and the extra claws, the polydactyly, is supposed to be a sign of very good luck. They're passing the three-year-old test. The most important thing, really, is all of you that really have to have a good feeling for the cat. What we're looking for is a cat who's active and curious. All you got to do is pick one. <laughs> but choosing one is impossible. What if we picked them both? While some experts recommend getting two kittens so that they'll have a playmate, it's not what the sweets had in mind. I think we're pretty smitten with these two. Smitten with the kittens? <laughs> smitten with the kittens. And the sweet family expands their brood by two brothers. I could see it happening, and I just don't think it's we right. We drive to... home thinking of the one brother yeah, still how can at the we shelter. One brother at the shelter. How could we do that? The sweets are given details and documents. Congratulations. Thank you. There you go. I can't believe we're getting two. Oh go on in. The kittens will ride in a carrier with their old shelter blanket to comfort them as they head to their new home. 